Boom, bam. Welcome back. Rare Talks. You really know what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you go over to the YouTube and check out the exclusive content that we got on the you YouTube. Need to, trust yeah, me. and I'm joined today by the craziest, wildest <laughs> co host in the whole co host history. See, baby, come on. Everyone yeah, should know why we're now. back. You we're back, and we're back. Like we never today left. is a different type of episode. Today, we said that we're going to go in and we're going to talk about something that um, is never spoken about. It's something called the Forgotten Fathers. Yep. The Forgotten Fathers. You know we I mean? saw yesterday that it was Father's Day. I don't really give a about Father's Day. I don't celebrate no Father's Day. I don't care about no Father's Day. But, but what I did realize is the equality difference from Mother's Day to Father's Day. Oh, now, we all know that mothers are very important and yes. we should always love our mothers more than we love our fathers. It's natural. 100. But then at the same time, we still need to show appreciation to the men that are actually making mm -hmm. life with of the women. Course. You know what I'm saying? So today's about the Forgotten Fathers and a post that I saw, and I'm due to make a video of it this week, you know, I see. The right. guy was like, oh yeah, to, shout out to all the fathers in their child's life. Fuck you to all the men that are not doing nothing in their children's lives. And I was thinking, that's such a, like an insensitive statement to men right. that might have been stopped from seeing a child. Why don't you say, this and shout out to the men that get denied access but want to see their children because they're real fathers as well. Mm. Just because they're not being able to access doesn't mean that they're less of a man. Of course and not. I was thinking, why don't anyone ever talk like that about men like that? So, yeah, yeah so that's what I wanted to talk about today. That's what our topics today, you know what I'm saying? The forgotten fathers. It's so what do you say about the forgotten fathers? Why I see it's, it's sad, but yeah, but you know when our dads are never front and for like front and center. I think it, well, even like you said like about the um, mothers, like we love them unconditionally, innit? it? Mm. But it's like, do you know what? It's like dads are so. It's, it's like we go back to chess, bro. Like dads are so crucial, yeah. Because generally, I don't know if it's just like my dad, but generally, I think like most Jamaican man, I don't know. Like my dad don't say much, but when he says something, it's powerful, and he just leaves the room, like. Man will come in to say two lines when everyone's going crazy <laughs> and just shut down the whole thing. It's like everyone's all tweaking. It would just say boom, 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 done. So I feel like having that masculine energy, and not even you know, even that. I feel like you know, like you can have fear, but then respectful fear. No one wants to get that cool like dad's yep. coming home. Ah, oh, fuck! Yep. You, yep. Like you got to switch up your whole thing because like. It's like you think if you, like you could play with mum, like what telling your dad, you just start bawling when you're young, cause you know, and it wasn't even it wasn't even that he's gonna hit you. It's just that kind of like don't play with me, and I feel like that. So like that being lost in the home is, it's is, is massive because, listen, man, and I've even I've I've, I've, I've spoke to mums that are struggling, and admittedly so, and I, and I vocal the uh, vocalized the point of saying you know, I can't handle my son no more. He's 14, 15. He's getting to that age. He's, he's being sort of rebellious, maybe being kicked out of school and not really listening to me. And he's looking for a male, like, role model. And if the dad isn't active or for whatever reason, he's going to look to other areas and go and maybe get caught up in the madness. So you think when you, when, when you do have a dad that is in your life and is actively there, or even being stopped and wants to be there, this, that void, that gap, it's like... Obviously, because I had a dad growing up, I know that as amazing as my mum is, she, 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 like she couldn't even step into that arena. Never of, of, the, of that dad care, and it's like, but she's not meant to because it's roles, isn't it? Like king and queen, like go together to raise a prince or a son or whatever. So it's like I think, I think men like men are just getting pushed to the side and just, and being and being seen as like we're not we're not needed as, as much as we want was. To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever really heard women big up men. You know, not really. Now there's a few women coming through on social media. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're few not, and they're far yeah, and few, and they do that one it. video, get the backlash from women, and they never do another video again. In it, say, like I'm thinking, like, say it with your chest, like big up. It, you know what? Yeah, I can't even. I can't imagine a day happening where women just start bigging up men because it won't. It won't happen. Like, Why not? I, I think. I think women are too quick to, to call us ain't shit, or maybe we do this and we do that. But get it. But that just comes. But that just comes to this entitlement being self-absorbed, narcissistic, just, you know, freaking the world rolls around then. Because, like, it's okay to hate a man, but don't say you don't need one. That's a, that's a whole different thing to me. Mm -hmm. You can hate men, you can have bad experiences. Listen, the, the, even though a bad woman will fuck me over, you've never heard me say, I actually don't want a woman. Like, you, you won't hear me say that. I love women too much to not want a woman. So, everyone, everyone, everyone's been scarred, everyone's been burned, and everyone's been done dirty, yeah? But shit, man, like, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still aware that I can't do what a woman does. Facts. I'm still aware that I need her sort of support or guidance or maybe... Facts. You know what I mean? Like, I'm aware of that, man. I'm never going to brush women to the side to start saying, I don't need women because I'd be foolish and naive. But I just seem like the society pushing just generally is saying men are just not needing. It's like, okay. 
know, the forgotten fathers you know though I mean? is is actually deep because um, there's a lot of men that they denied access of seeing their children not for no reason of their own. So why should those men not get bigged up when they're in their hearts actually real men that want to be active fathers to their children? More than you know, it's like I feel, and that's why I said like mm. shout out to the men that are denied access but want to see their children. Of course. Because I believe that the forgotten fathers, as much as people might not see them, their men, their hearts are on their sleeves because Every their day. children are everything to them. But it's just that an evil woman is stopping them. And I say evil woman because only an evil woman yes. would stop a man from seeing his child. That's it. Only an evil, corrupted, toxic woman would stop a man from seeing his own seed that mm-hmm. she knows is his. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's a boy. Yeah, yeah. And even if it's a girl, well, but yeah, especially well, boy, more of a boy. Yeah, of course, of because course, a boy, he growing up not seeing that. Do you know how powerful it is for a boy to see his father? It's massive. It's like, you're my superhero. Just trust me. Trust you're my superhero. Me. You know what I'm saying? Daddy, and if you don't have that superhero, the kid, you start seeing him going crazy with Batman and mm-hmm. Spider-Man and loving all these toys. And that's, that's a lack of fatherhood. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I feel like those guys need to be bigged up as well. And them guys, like, their struggle shouldn't be like, we shouldn't cuss them and no. try and belittle their men until we know their story. The same way we, like, men will say, oh, you don't know a story though. Right, right, right. The same way with men. Don't know a story. You see this equality rubbish. Like, people been fighting for it for years, yeah? Yep. And then you have the simp men that, like, <sighs> always, on the, always on the woman's side, yeah? Always. And never, ever take the man's side. So automatically, whenever a woman says something, mm-hmm. they automatically believe it. Mm-hmm. Those guys, yeah, when shit happens to them, yep. they want to commit suicide because yeah, they're like, I yeah. can't believe I was on the women's sides and they done this and to done me. To me. Yeah, because yeah. women will always go with women or after men. They would, it's just natural. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I feel like men need to start being with men more and stop belittling men and trying That's to true. degrade them and try to understand them better, bro. That's what we need to do as men. Stop laughing at other men's pain, especially men that can't see their children. I don't think that's another thing to cuss a man about. Ox, why? Right. And then you'll get to a situation, you're here and you'll be like, oh, mm. she's actually bad, man. There's two sides to the story, of course. isn't it? It's not just one-sided what, what she was telling everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's so quick to call men deadbeats, yeah? Quick. Yeah, when men are not playing their role. But mm. what about the woman that stops the man? What's, what's the name for her? In it. Like, a lot of, if anything, like me, you should fucking create a word for them. Like women who stop men. Toxic <laughs> baby mothers. Yeah. That's what, that's they what they're called. And we're going to, with evil, toxic baby mothers. We're going to run with this narrative forever. Toxic baby mothers. The women are out there that are stopping men from seeing their children. You're toxic baby mothers. And we're calling you out non stop. We're never going to stop doing that. Uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And all the men yeah. that, got, that say they got stories for me, yeah? Basically, what I need from you lot is to write out your stories, yeah, and we we're gonna read it on this show yeah, every week. We'd read it out. That's the first thing that we do. We read out toxic baby mothers, yeah. We might not put names for confidential no, yeah, no, yeah, and names, um, like, like, situations, isn't it? yeah. But we're gonna put out your situation. Listen, need them. listen, man. Like, like, listen, man. Come on, man. Like, men need like to. I don't listen, man. Like, like, there are some, there are some broken men out there from not not being able to have access to their kid. I mean, like broken man, like as in. Even even if it's whether it's going to, to court, because see the thing is, yeah, a lot of women like might say, "Oh, I'll take him to court." Do you know how court? Do you know how stressful court is? Court's not a straightforward. <laughs> <decision. laughs> we just go court. Okay, but, but, but <laughs> let's get to the real narrative. Why do we always have to talk about court? Is that it? Why can't two adults sort out problems? Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. A girl can sort out a problem with her man. And she, that's not even her child's father. Mm-hmm. Right. She can fall out with that man and still get back with that man. Of course. But she can't sort out things for the child's sake. Mm-hmm. But she claims that she loves the child. Mm-hmm. So if you really love the child, Wouldn't. the child is in need of all the love. Because sometimes, even go further, let me even go further. Some of these fathers that get denied access, their families get denied access, bro. That thing. is crazy. Mm. What did his grandma or grandfather do to, to get denied access? Why is that child now not getting to know his real roots of his family? Mm-hmm. Why is, it, why is it so correct and why nobody talking about this? It's true, man. This, this gets swept under the rug, innit? Who actually talks about these topics, though? I don't see no one on social media, no. like, grilling for this. Because, because it's not... Because, yeah, it, it, it's like it just goes under radar, swept under the rug. No one really sort of focuses on that because it's... I don't know. You know, I, I haven't got the answers for it. And I think that, that's what makes the mission even more important on our side to speak on things. Because it's like, there's a lot of men that will come out, come out from the dark place and comment and say, you, you men are right and I agree and... Like, thanks for bringing that to the platform because, like, it's like man out here struggling with like for real. But whether it's being denied, because you like think about it, yeah, being denied access to seeing your child is a 
can sort of result in really bad mental health issues. A hundred percent. It's all linked. It's all, it's, it's, it's it's all interlinked. linked. It's interlinked. It's interlinked. It's interlinked. It's interlinked. It's interlinked. You know if you I mean? see any man that's been like denied access to his child, it's affected his mental health in some yeah, way. It has to form. be. It, it has to. Like as a man can't even get out of bed, he's just he just he just distraught. He can't even like sort of drop the energy or to even someday just face the world because you think if I can't see a little man, what's the point? You know what I mean? And and it's mad to think to be that mentally gone, brother, and to think you know what if I can't see my if my youth, then ain't, you know, ain't nothing worth it, and just top themselves. That kind of mental health, brother. I mean suicidal thoughts because obviously at that point. Well, like, whatever happened, any woman who truly loves their child should be able to separate their feelings from the man and the child and say, you know what, I might not like him, but his son needs to go with his dad to go and be a man. Straight. If you really can have that Straight. separation of... Straight. Your, so, because essentially that would mean that your hate for the man is sort of over, overwhelming you to a point where you're unable to focus on your child. So then, you, like, someone might say, do you really love, like, love your child? So every day the child's day in your yard saying, oh, mum, where's dad? Oh, he don't want to be around. But 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 the truth is, no. He's like, I, I'm not letting you see him. But a woman's not gonna sell it to, to a two year old or a three year old or four year old, and she might talks like make his mind so toxic that by the time he's 15, he's had nothing but fucked up stories about his dad, and, he, and his dad like been down the road this whole time. So when he's 15, he's like, why weren't you here? And what's happened? You thinking, listen. No, but that, yeah. them, them toxic. He's not gonna be saying that. He's letting out his anger on the world. And I told people yeah. that the, the absent. The woman destroying the man and stopping him from seeing the child leads to the child growing up being a gangster, bro. Has to be. Most of these used to are on roads because they don't have love for... That first man that is meant to love them, they love them. So why do I love or care about anyone? And the first way you see that in a child, and I want every mother out there to be aware of this, is how he is with authority. Mm -hmm. Male authority, how he is with that. You will see that your child does not have respect for male authority. Mm -hmm. The reason be being is because he doesn't have respect for the man that was meant to call his father because yeah. you told him which is a lie that his father didn't want to be there. When dad was just down the road and wanted to see his child, but he couldn't. And every time he came, she done all these weird stuff Man, to like say that he raped her and all this. Yeah. And most men, I'm, I'll be real with you. After a woman claims rape on a man, there is a big chance that man will never see that you never again. Because he's going to think, you know what? I'm not risking my freedom for this youth when I can go have 10 more youths. Why? That, I'm just saying, that's logical, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. am I going to jail for an R charge and then that's going to be on my record? People are going to mash me up. I'm going to be labelled that person. That's not even true. Trust me. Because of her child. Trust if me. she wants a child so much, keep the youth. I'm just going to I'm just gonna do move on with my life. Most men are just move on with their life. You have to, though. Nine out of 10 men are going to move on with their life. They're not to. going to stay in a situation where the woman's making false allegations, bro. False allegations is disgusting, bro. Mm -hmm. We need to start calling out women that are doing false allegations as well because it's it's crazy bro yeah. and i and mm -hmm. the thing is i read the reason why women are getting away with these false allegations is because there's no actual penal system for them yeah. so in the family court if a woman makes up a lie and says that you ain't no raped her you beat her up and all this stuff and it's proven that she's a liar she don't have to go to prison or sit down or nope. nothing no so she, it's just like yeah my allegations yeah. i made my allegations and then That's people it. on the other fence, look what people on the other fence will say well you know it wasn't proven but it doesn't mean it's not true mm -hmm. But then, yeah. isn't that the same thing for the man then? Of course. If No, but I'm saying, in it, if we're humans and we're, we're equal people and we're just people, mm -hmm. then that's the way we'll look at it, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Why would we only look at it from one stratosphere but not the other? Doesn't it even make sense, bro? That's why I shout yeah. out to the forgotten fathers, bro. You know, you know, you know man, you make a good point. The fact that like a guy can be proven innocent on every account and then still be like, yeah, but he probably still did it. You're like, no! Like, like, do you know how much stuff you have to go through, yeah, to, to be innocent? Like, the amount of evidence you need to be like, I didn't do it. And uh, do you know what? It's funny because, like, there are a lot of women who who admittedly say, um, like... I made false allegations. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they women get, put, like, pulled to the front and get humiliated by women? No, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, prison time. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, like if, if, a for, if a false allegation made against you has tarnished your image and sort of your whole name and career, you need to go to prison. That should be a, that should be an offence where you, you serve time behind bars. But if, if that was the case, then women wouldn't do it as much. <laughs> exactly. And, but that, that exactly. means that we could vet out the real people from the, un, the unreal people. This is it. Because there's actually genuine people that have been through stuff. Let's not, let's not, mm -hmm. let, let's not, let's still be just, in it? But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the women that are making false allegations so that they can get keep custody of the child. Yeah. That is dangerous, bro. Yeah. And I was with a lawyer last week and he was talking about this yeah, yeah. and how women will use, use this in the court system to try and manipulate you and use you and destroy you. Mm -hmm. And it's a very dangerous thing that we need to start speaking about more of because women are making all kinds of wild accusations on men that are not actually true to try and tarnish and destroy their image. 
Uh, and, and, even, and, and even at the point of being proven innocent, your, your, your image is still done. Because like, like, there's always going to be that thought of, ah, we probably did do it. Even if there's not, like, it's, like, it's, like, I feel like it's that, that, that sort of women united type of, oh, yeah, you know, because I think, like you said, yeah, if there was a new bill that got pushed forward and, and signed off and said, women who make false allegations from sexual assault or rape, all these things, yeah, serve a minimum of five-year prison sentence, yeah? You, like, you, like, you see Even a lot Even one of, year, bro? No, no, well, yeah, well, yeah, what, 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 no, I, I say, like, at least, I mean, rape, because five, you know, especially if man did time, so, so, if, so if man on fifteen, yeah, no, no. Yeah. If man does, if man does time, then she has to go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how come they, they they don't do that though? Like, like it's just a little slap on the wrist. Like you just go home. Like. <laughs> it's not slap on the wrist. She's just literally walking out the court. Yeah, and a, a, a man's whole like his family turned against him. He, like his friends, everyone looked. Lost at him. his woman. He lost his real woman. Everything and, and like there's no. And I feel like when you put serious consequences to, like to a lie, many people would think twice. You know, hold on a minute. I could do real time like if I'm lying about this. And, and that's what I mean, like, like, like false claims. And obviously, again, this also go back to, to mental health because women can, play the, women can play the victim card and that's it. Like, do you think there's a guy out there that, that can say, oh, she hit me and, and called me names out of right away? Mom, like, mom would just laugh at man. Like, would you mean you got hit right away? Like, you're a bad, isn't it? Like, like, there's no rule. But man telling you, I, I, I had to walk away from, from this woman or I would have lick her down. Like, a man had to walk away. Like, otherwise I would have went mad. But it just sounds like you couldn't man the situation as opposed to just you had to re- remove yourself from it to protect yourself, yeah? 100%. A woman, a woman, a woman can, can kick, scream, yell, f- like, throw stuff at you, force allegations, allegations something to you, like, from your child, and there's no consequence. None at all. And the thing is, it even extends to the idea of other women don't hold other women accountable, bro. Like, you got sisters and close friends seeing women doing a madness and everyone's just quiet. I thinking, do you not see this? Do you, do you know what? Do I you could, not see what's happening? They're the reason why their sons will feel it as well. Yeah, yes. Because you know what I've realised? The people that are silent with oppression mm-hmm. are as bad as the oppressors. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at it. Of course they are. You're as silent as the oppressors. Of course they are. And I'm talking about clear-cut oppression. Like... You, you've had a baby with him and now you're like, he's not seeing you. And the friend's like, yeah, man. Um, they, they, they're not just like, okay, oh, uh, well. They're not even saying anything to her. No, nothing. Like nothing, but they know what she's doing is wrong. They know. And they can see the man protesting and fighting for his you and they don't do anything. Yep. I think that woman's actually worse than the woman. 100%. That is actually stopping the man from seeing 100%. the child. 100%. That woman, the one that is friends with the woman that stopped the man from seeing 100%. the child, and she does not say anything, and she stays silent, she's worse than the oppressor right there. 100%. Because it's like when black, when black people are getting oppressed, bro, mm-hmm. and, and you know you had the one, two white men that got up and said, no, I don't think this is right. Yeah. Ratings to them, man. Ratings. Ratings to them, man. Facts. But all the other ones that are sitting on the sideline. Just as bad. They're just as bad. It's just as bad. You're just as bad as a racist person, to me anyway. I don't care. Yeah. No, if, right. if, if you're in a room, if a white person's in a room with four other white people and they're all dissing black people and none of them say anything, you're just as bad, you bro. Well so what's well. the difference in that? When we bring that um, that analogy mm-hmm. to bring the analogy of you're around four of your friends and you're telling them openly, I stopped him from seeing his you, so what? And they say nothing. nothing. Allow it. You're just as bad. Dead. You're even worse, sir. Finish. Because you, you, you have the ability to say, say something, something or do something. Mm-hmm. Do you make sense? Mm-hmm. But you don't do nothing. And you sit there and say, "Well, maybe she, this is what women are saying. Maybe she got a reason." No, fuck that. Because 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 true because for women who understand the importance of the male role, like they'll be like, "This is this like you got to work it out because like your son's getting older now and he needs that male guy in his life." So it's like that that male role model is like he needs to be there. And yeah, like you're totally right. I fully agree with the idea that if you're gonna sit there with mouth closed and say. So, like, let's say one of the friends said, oh, like, where's the dad? Oh, yeah, you know, like, you know, I, I, like, I ain't really fucking with him no more, so, like, he's a senior right now. I'm telling you, if there were strong women, even to a point where if the woman was so real and was like, you know what, I think what you're doing is totally out of line and I think the dad should be able to, to, to see his son when he wants because, like, you two made him. Like you, like, you didn't make him on your own. Like, you made him together. So put your feelings aside and let, and let the dad be a father, to, like, to the son, yeah? Take it one step further. If the girl's moving that crazy and she's being toxic, she finds it funny and she's denied access, then that friend should separate herself from that kind of woman. She should just separate her whole connect, like her whole association with her. Because, 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 because how could a woman roll with another woman who, who she knows that's toxic and is, is withholding the, the child from the father yeah, and still roll, roll over and go out? Because that's, that's a dangerous person that to be with. Of course, yeah. it's like man rolling with someone who's doing like... Constant murders, bro. Yeah, You're thinking that he's yeah. not gonna murder, man. It's like it's like, it's like that might come to, that, that might come and spin back on you. you Thank you. You don't know. You don't know. So like you gotta be. 
You have to be very careful who you associate like yourself with because it will represent you in other ways that you might not even see it. It, 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 Especially when it comes to this situation, yeah. because I believe this is like one of the most, one of the most despicable sp- situations a woman, it's the worst in the world, friend bro. cannot tell her friend about. It's the worst. A man, a child not seeing the father. Do you it's know how important a father is to a child? Yeah. Like we as men can recognize the importance of a woman. You right, 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 right. Why can't women rep- understand the, the importance of a man? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about biologically, bro. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes men don't even have to talk to their children, bro, or shout or do what the women are doing. Yep. One look and the game's over. Sit down, like just stop. <laughs> one look. <laughs> don't play with me. And then he's in the room. Done. Right? Then he's into the room. Boys, when they're raised with their father and a good father as well, because people will say, "Oh, but maybe he's not a good father. He only he's only coming sometimes and not sometimes." Baby, go. You sat down and had a baby with this man. I feel like you need to take some accountability. You have to. If you really didn't want to, if you really thought he wasn't that shit, then I'm just, I'm not saying anyone to do it, but I'm saying in the UK, there's ways that are for free that you can get rid of children. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's correct. Of course. I'm just saying there is ways. Of course. We're not in a third world country mm-hmm. when a woman gets pregnant, getting an abortion costs t- two grand, bro. Mm-hmm. And you have to do some sneaky thing. Yeah. And it's mad. She even got the money for it. I'm talking about we're in the UK where it's free. Mm -hmm. There's contraception. There's Mm -hmm. so many other ways. But now you've chosen to have that child. That child now is half you and half him. Why would you cut off, not just access to him, but access to his whole family? Mm -hmm. That child's losing out on learning about family values, different, you know, like there's so much things that grandparents and families actually bring. That uncle could be a a sick football player. Like there's opportunities they can miss in life. Mm -hmm. But there's some people's children, yeah, that if the dad was in the life, the children would be up with what they're trying to do right now. Yeah. Do you make sense? Mm. Like you could be a ball player because I know ballers or you could be a media person because I know media people. Anything. But the mother is denied the access so the child is handicapped to a certain extent mm-hmm. with opportunities. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Because if you've got bare people in your family that are bare stuff, you could say, oh, you want to be a mechanic? No, my uncle's, a, my yeah, brother's yeah, a mechanic. Quick, 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 like, you yeah, see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've handicapped the child from having that ability. Right. And, I, and I don't think a lot of women even think of it like that. How deep it is. And even knowing other family members mm-hmm. and how they could like make friendships and build different bonds with other people inside of their family. That's it. Like, how would you skip that? And and and, and like, there's, like, there's a lot of boys out there that if if for whatever reason the dad was sort of not stepping up, then he might sort of attach to the uncle or you know what I mean, someone the granddad or so, someone. Did, but it's still it's still got to be like a male figure. But you know, it's funny because we know like because you got to think. But what 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 about the women who like who turn around and say, oh, you know, well, in my experience, you know. The boy, you know, I could raise a woman. So I, I could raise a boy to be a man. Or, or, or to all the women out there who might say, well, I raised my son and he turned out just fine. Like, there are women who convince themselves that I raised him just fine so the man wasn't needed. There's always going to be an issue with a woman raising a, a man because Has a woman be. cannot be a man just that like we can never be a woman. Simple, doesn't Does it make sense? Mm-hmm. Like, there's going to be issues with him, bro. He might be over-feminine. And oh, these are these simp guys online. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm doing anything for the yeah. woman. Yeah, woman are doing. Now, right you, you see that post I posted, the man's like, yeah, if she's got two kids, you take them on like your own, you give her what she wants, you do her hobbies, you do her interests, everything about her that she wants, and that's positive from her, you do it for her. And I was thinking in my head, but to a certain extent, what about you? Like, dudes, you're like you're saying you're going to do all these things for the woman and do everything and give your whole life to the woman. But what's she giving to you? Uh, like, and, like, and like, let's take away sex. Like, 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 let's take that away. Like, what did she give to you? You're giving your whole life to somebody. A whole energy. But what did they give to you? It's true. Is that what life is? Isn't it? Man give man's soul to another human being. No. D- that person's in control of my life then. All right, cool. Yeah. That person breaks up with me and leaves me tomorrow. What then happens to me now, what I see? Isn't it, boy? Like, just, lo- just lowly eating pot noodles in your flat because that's where you are. What are you talking about? I'm putting that rope around my neck and jumping from the chair. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't that. see a point in living. My whole life was for someone else. I didn't even live my, my, for myself. I, but, but yeah, but that, and that's well, How are you over prioritizing a woman before yourself? I don't think any human being should over prioritize another human being over themselves. You can't. Now I don't believe anyone should do that. Selfish. You have to. Like even with your children, bro, you can't. You can't do that. You got to be selfish. You 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 can't put your children before yourself, and then your children run you in the ground. You got mental health. Your children still out on roads. I said this exact same thing the other day. I was like, I can't remember saying this to you. I was like, you have to be selfish and put yourself first because if you're not good, ain't no one eating. If you ain't good, then how can anyone else eat off you? If you're if you're poorly and sick in health. How can you get? How can your kids be t- taken care of, or you won't be taken care of? You have to put. You have to put yourself first because if you're the breadwinner, if you're, if you're the provider, if you're, if you're the male in the home, if people, if women expect so much from the man, your health needs to be a one. You need to be 
taking care of to, to, to the maximum. You have to ensure and protect your own well, mental well-being, bro. Because I said, if you're not good, how can you help other people? It doesn't make sense. If you're not, if you're not in a good space mentally, how can you sort of be there for your sons or your daughters or, you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, it, it's, it definitely goes hand in hand. And I, I've, it's funny to tell you that because I said, I was saying the exact same thing the other day. I was like, you have to be selfish to put yourself first. You have to. You have, I swear to God, kids and wives are, are, are beneath. It's like me, then family. No, but it has to be though. <laughs> there's the only, there's the only way. It has to be. Yeah, there's the only way. But a woman's more time is putting herself before her children, her, her thing, everything, and at the same time, destroying another person's life. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a time where you have to be selfless, not always selfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So now, if she, because a lot of women, they'll come up with a statement, and this statement's not actually true. They'll mm -hmm. say, I love my child more than anything in, in the, the world. world. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. If that's really the case, then that child is in deserving of love from the father. Of course. Because if you love him, then you love that child to get all the love. Yes. Then now the love that you give him is only one-sided. Mm -hmm. The love that he gets from the father is a complete love now. Right. Because now he's got mother's love and father's love. Mm -hmm. He can pick between the two. Right. He can dissect her. Oh, I like when daddy hugs me. I like when mommy kisses me. Mm -hmm. I like when mommy cooks. I like when daddy takes me football. It's like, simple. It is, there's so many simple. little things. He's like, like, I hate when mom takes me football. Isn't she doesn't know nothing about the game. Ain't the same. Even if she likes football, it's not the same. <laughs> Even if she likes football, it's not the same. It's, it's not like, the same, bro. Listen, yeah, the moment, the, moment my boy sees, the moment my boy sees his dad and runs to him, dad's here, bye, mom. Boy is flying off the handle. He's gone. The moment dad pulls up, the boy is just fucking, he's, he's complete jubilation, bruv. Because the boy, is, the boy understands that dad's here. Things are going to run like this. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take me McDonald's like, and we're gonna go football. It's another male. That's what, that's what they don't understand. Young boys look at men and see themselves, especially if it's a son and a dad. You know, when a boy, when a boy looks at his mum, he, he sees safe home, food, nurturing, baths, and put me to bed. When a son sees a dad, he sees energy, masculine, tall. Sort of, I want to be like him. Cause like I said, daddy's daddy's a superhero. Like, da you know what? I think, I think to a boy, um, the dad is yeah. To a boy, the, the to a boy, to, uh, to to a little boy, his dad is a superhero that can do everything. He can fucking, he, he, he's strong, he's smart, he can figure everything out. And like I said, man, that's just so crucial in regards to just like the home, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. The same home, so I, I just I just can't stress enough all of the things we're saying. It doesn't have to be in one in one household. Whether you're whether the woman is with the guy or whether you're co-parenting, you can still have a functioning function uh, functioning relationship for the kid. You can have dates set up, and you can sort of co-parent and and and, and, and like just be cordial with one another to ensure that the child gets both the best world. Because as long as the dad's around, then the child doesn't suffer and he doesn't miss out. But if you just completely cut the dad contact. That's when you're gonna have a problem, and I think I watched something the other day, and it said, as as ch as boys get older, they need their dads even more. Hundred percent. So some, so I think like there's just hundred percent. There's this sort of uh, misconception that the idea that like people say, oh, like kids need a dad when they're young a lot. It's like no, like study shows that when they're 13, 14, they need them more. Hundred percent. Because because that's that's the sort of crucial part of the of becoming into a man stage, like puberty and like getting taller seeing things, starting to like girls, coming, becoming into themselves, risk of the road and all the bad friends, influence. So that's like really, really type of, that's the area where dads even needs to be even more active. Arguably, you could say from 13 to 18 is the crucial years. Because if, if the dad's not there 13 to 18, there's a very high percentage he's going to be on the roads, man. 100%. A very high percentage. Because if he hasn't got that male role model in his life, it's over for him. And why do boys join gangs? For the role model, like, like I have olders. Yeah, I have people who I got role models. It's called role models. You know I mean? They're looking up to the wrong people as role models. Because and then yeah. that, that's what, the roads. That's that is nine road. out of ten men that's on roads come from single mother households. You have the one or two man that's just yeah. joined because yeah. they're, they're in that area. They're with man. They're brethren. But m majority of men is because they come from single mother households, and that's the, that's the truth. And I'm not. I'm not trying to belittle single mothers. I'm just giving not. it real. I'm giving it real. And the youths that you can see the youths that are on road, 
the youths that are not on roads that their father's playing, even though the, the mum's not there, she's giving the dad access to his child. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, go live with your dad. He mm -hmm. can't hit the roads. Can't. Dad's picking up on stuff so because early. It, because he knows. What are you talking about? Brother, where, where is you, bro? I was just saying. Brother, you was linking gal. Yeah. I got a one little thing. What? Yeah. You yeah. know, child, you got a one little thing. Yeah. Talk to me. What's her name? Because you little know. Little Cherise, innit? Little Cherise, innit? Like, you know what I'm saying, then, like. Man ain't telling mommy about never, Sharice. Never, never, You think man sit down with it, little boys sit down with their mum and tell their mum the things they chow down? Dad, oh Mum's no. going to be sick tweaking like, bitch, treat women like this shit. Dad's going to be telling you the real shit. <laughs> real shit, man. Like, brother, listen, strap up for you get wrapped up, In big it. man, yeah? Don't be trying to take those babies out And big man, listen. In it. Don't let no girl take you for idiot. Yeah. Yeah? Straight. Don't let her take you for idiot. She says she's out with her friends all night. Yeah. Big man, listen. In it, in it. She's for the streets, big man. You, you got to tell her. Don't say that. Yeah. Shut up. In it. Man, <laughs> shut up. Man crying, man. I'll punch you up, big man. You yeah? have to as well. I'll bang you up, blood. You I think this you. is... Mom, like, don't speak to him, man. But you have to, but you have don't to. Don't But man don't care. Yeah, yeah. Man to. needs you to be on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not know some little simpy look called you getting buoyed by the things, man. But, no. but you know. You're right. You know what, yeah? And the thing is... You can chat like that, yeah, cause, because cause you're looking at son like I was want I was once you, bro. Don't come at me like I, I know I, the whole the whole game that you're trying to bring me. I've been done it. I, I've been there. And but mom, but mom can't have the conversation with him. She thinks she can. <laughs> Impossible. But she's mom's always gonna want to protect him, even if he's doing wrong. Daddy, man, saying to him, brother, if you hit the streets, bro, and you're you're getting into beef and you're dead, don't call me. Don't call me. And you know them things. People think that's mad to say it to your child, but the you might start thinking. Man, this is kind of mad stuff. Trust me. I might have to avoid this thing. And knowing that daddy's going to mash him up if he even finds out. Trust me. Daddy mashing up and mommy. You see, for life, you always look at your dad like, raw, like, until he's like 70, 80, you be like, I can rap him now. But you know yeah. when daddy's 50 and 40 and like, he's looking kind of stocky? Like, it, like, like it. he's thinking, like my dad might not rap me. still. <laughs> You know that respect's still there. Like, I might be able to. Me, fam. He'll rap me right now. He'll rap me, yeah. and that little fear yeah. is good for the youth to have because it's like it's like don't play with me. Yeah, so I know I know who to play with, and I know who not to play with. It, it does something to the child. Trust me. You know what? Yeah, but you're still right because I would say. I was like, only when my dad probably got to about 65, I thought that I, 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 I could take him. I, I could take him. But me as well. Him. I lied. My dad got to like 50. I said, bro, you know what? I feel like I can, I feel like I can have up my man, you know? He's strong, but I feel like I can have him up still. But you see when like you're, you're 13, 14 and you only never, got your mum and your mum's like, never. ah, trying to dash licks. You're like, stop that mum. What are you it? doing? Like, Mum can't even put a, a hand can't even reach you, bro. Yeah, but you're so fast with it. You're so techy with it. But dad is different. Bro. But daddy's different. Daddy's techy is different because daddy's a man, isn't it? Daddy can move to you differently. Yeah. But you. But I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying of course, of course. it's just like the father's role is so much more factor. important yeah. than women could ever it, it, ever it, comprehend. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the boy ends up becoming like the dad sort of best friend and they really become uni in unison. It's like, it's, that's, that, trust that me. That is amazing, that, you know. Just listen, yeah, a, a dad yeah. and a son who are like a tag team, yeah. That, like, that, that energy that's bond. It's unbreakable bond. It's unbreakable. And that energy bond, a woman will look in awe, like, I can't believe this. So I can't do that. What is that? Yeah. It's like, like glowing, bro. Yeah. bro and, and the youth wants to do good, yeah, yeah, yeah. not just for daddy, but for my legacy now, yeah. for my family yeah. name. Because he looks at his dad thinking, you know, my family name. And I feel like when you got your dad in your life, you respect your surname more. Like, I'm proud of my surname, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of my surname. When man asks me my surname, I say my surname, like, mm -hmm. live, oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... My dad's been there, so I love him and I love that my family comes from him, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As I'm grown older now, it's even changed more deeper for me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I respect that. But a kid that don't even... Sometimes these women are not even giving the child the, the father's name, bro. Yeah, so you, The child grows yeah. older and he's a woman's name. Do you know how destructive that is? Because the woman's name, if she had a father, was from her father. Yeah, that's true. You see how weird that even is, though? Yes, it's true, isn't it? No, but clock yeah. how deep that is, though. Mm -hmm. She's given him her name, which is from her father. Right. Because it couldn't be from women, from women to right. women. Because then it's, what, it's, what was your mom's doing, bro? Just, just it, beating it, it, that? It's, huh? it's, it's always the guy, yeah. It's yeah, always yeah. the guy. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how you identify children, mm -hmm. through their fathers. Mm -hmm. You don't identify through the mothers. Mm -hmm. Ever see the boy and be like, who's your mother? In Jamaica, say, all your father. Simple. All your father. First thing. All your father. All your father. 
any any other culture, Islam, or you, you catch someone from like an Arab or Middle Eastern, they know people through their middle names. So mm. you know someone through their middle name, that's their father's name of their tribe. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So like a man's name would be Abdullah and it's be Ibn Muhammad. That's his father. Then it's Ibn Muhammad, Ibn um, Salim. That's mm. the other father's name. So it's, it's always passed down through the father. Mm. So they, they know if they're tracing their family, they could trace their family a hundred generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it make sense? Because of the name, yeah. So uh, I don't even really get how that even makes sense. And these are the topics I don't, I've never heard anyone ever talk like this. Because why would they? It's not. It's not. It's not beneficial. It isn't going to rack them views. It's not going to be trending. But I said, like speaking, and it's going to get people hate probably. Yeah, because yeah, but as if it, it, it's it's a lot easier to speak about all the reasons why women are great than why they're bad. Oof. Because because like women will turn around and be like, damn, like, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna have to change my ways. I'm gonna have to improve. No, it's gonna happen. No shit. Like I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna fall behind in this race. It's like, listen, man. As long as there are simps, as, as long as there are men that always validate with the women, give them unnecessary attention, like, and just be a slave to women and pedestal them, you are never actually gonna feel like a man, bro. Because, of, like, of course, loving women is beautiful, and having a beautiful woman is gonna make you feel whole. But you cannot put her above yourself. That's nuts. If anything, a woman as, as, as if we gotta stand beside you or behind you, but not in front of you, bro. That can't run. Beside or behind, but not in front, yeah. And if it's going to be no, but this is the this is the problem that these even the terminologies that we're using are putting a woman in front of the man, alpha male, mm -hmm. alpha female. So what does that mean now? That I'm the beta male, yeah, and you're the you're the alpha. In relationship, so yeah. you run stuff, and yeah. I have to take it. Yes. So that means I'm an idiot, basically. And then I have to take, I have to be an idiot. For but the worst, and the worst thing is, them man, them man, they do that stuff. They always end up single, like, and they always get burned or left. The okay. gal is always cheap. The gal <laughs> giving bud in the end. Yeah. As much as women say they love simps and all this, yeah, they, don't love they always end last, bro. Don't let no one lie to you. Don't let women it, gas you. Don't let women gas you, brothers. Don't, let, don't, don't let, let women gas you and lie to you and manipulate simps you and gaslight will. you and make you believe that being this 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 guy that agrees with everything she says and a total yes man we'll and you will. have no arguments and you do everything she says and the, you put flowers wherever she walks no. and you never back chat her and whenever she says jump you say how high yeah, do you think that she's gonna like that it looks that way yeah because women say yeah that's what i want yeah, but in that. hand sense they do no, not no, no. want that nope. they want a man to challenge them sometimes they want a man to put them in their place they want a man to tell them you're wrong i yep. don't think that's right simple they want that yep that's a strong man yep because a weak man he's just gonna let anything flow women will leave you for that reason women you. will leave you because you're not as authoritative as you think you are you might think that you're doing a great job being a simp and being this waste man in the comment section on my tiktok lives talking crap but trust me yeah. women will eventually hate you Every and time. you'll be the most lowest of people you be saying i'm married for 10 years but the, is she happy brother that's it or is she looking for another man is she on another strong man's live watching him saying that's the kind of man i really want yep. Reminds me of my dad. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? Not Trust some me. weak man. Nope. I want a man that reminds me of my dad. Not some little weak man, because her dad wasn't a weak man. Yeah. She married a weak man because she thought it was going to be what she wanted. Never. Two years in the marriage, she's like, I don't know if I want this anymore. And every woman says that. Every woman it always ends up saying, do you know what? Like, it's nice, but he's a bit too nice. And that's when, they're, and, 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 and at that point, it's over. It's over. A, a woman will always leave the nice, do you know what, yeah? The nice guy always gets either friend-zoned, or a woman will use them for a phone call to complain about a man. <laughs> but she still won't rate you. Never. She's never going to rate you. Never. And then uh, it's like, I think, I think Sims think that if I'm nice to her and do all the things she want, we'll live, we'll live, we'll live happily ever after. We'll get the kids, the dog, the I, cool. fence. I, you see no. the women, I, I, let, me go <laughs> let me go one step deeper. The women that say this on social media, saying, oh yeah, do all this, do this. They're single. Mm -hmm. So why aren't you taking with one of them guys that you talk about? Exactly. And why is it you're always choosing at? the bad guys? Where they at? Mm -hmm. Because you like the authoritative kind of controlling kind of mad, narcissistic, crazy type of man. Putting you in your place. They yeah. say, and it's the same with some man. They will say that they want a good girl and all this. Bro, they want a bad bizzle. Simple. And that's, the, that's what they're attracted to. That's what they're attracted to. That's what they're attracted to. A bit of attitude, a bit, a bit of rough. You yeah, know? yeah, they want the girl that's going to give them trouble. Some man want the girl that's going to give them trouble. Facts. I don't want that person. No, no, I no, no. No, I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble, bro. I want peace. I want violence online, but I yeah, want peace see? in my house. Bro. Trust me. What the hell? A, wo a, wo a, woman's, got, a woman's got to be out calm to the storm, innit? So, like, so when you come in, like, like a dinner ready around your bath. Oh, Imagine two people are, are toxic in a relationship. Of course it don't work. 
Negative, negative, positive, positive doesn't work. Like you have to but you know what's it. funny? A woman will only tell you the man's in toxic stuff in the relationship, mm -hmm. but she's doing, doing bare toxic things. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll give you a toxic thing that women do and they don't even clock it. Check mm. this. Don't. I got bare other men, you know, that is waiting for me. That's yeah. toxic. Yeah, of course it is. That's toxic. That statement there is a toxic statement. So what are you saying? I'm, I'm, there's a line, there's a cue. At any moment, if I go. If, yeah. if, I, if, if I slip. Once. I, I've lost my leg. I'm in hospital. Yeah. The line, bro. A gang of niggas is. Woo! But but you know what? Yeah. But that but but that's not toxic more than it is real. Like she probably she probably really does have ten niggas lined up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst thing. And then waiting in the wind, dick in hand, is like yeah, baby, I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> Bro, they're waiting. They're ah, waiting. Man said dick in hand. Bro. I stop it, bro. No, but they're waiting. These money, just, these money, wait, they wait, the wind, the bleaches, the, like the sub, like sub bench. The man, the man, just there with dick in hand, like, look at women thinking, yeah, come on, baby, say yes. Well, I'm waiting for you. Trust me, because that, that's not toxic. Women don't, women don't push out them sort of threats without really meaning that, that, that they can just, like, and just, like, I knew, almost like, almost like a new fucking deck of cards, bro. It's like, yeah, swift. Do that, dealer. Listen, I'm all in, yeah. And then, if like, if it, like, if you flip and then your hand busts, whatever. And now I'm gonna take that in. And even a woman won't want to admit that, yeah. A woman can always replace you, bro. And when they do, if you do fuck up, yeah, it'll be that nigga that she told you that was just a friend. <laughs> and then like you see with the pictures, figured I swear I know, bro. Yeah, I told with the braids. He was there ten years ago at the barbecue when she said they had the know each other. Wait, this nigga, he'll pop up ten years later. Women have women have a, women have the back burner guys, bro. They're just sitting on the ice. They're just there waiting, and the whole and the whole time you're thinking, what what what's bro even been doing? Like, did they have some secret arrangement where ten years after they're happy, then like you pop up and I just get with you? It's bad, did it? You kind of think, how could a girl just go to a guy at, at will as if to say he doesn't have a situation? That's I kind of, that's kind of a bad situation. I kind of a bad agreement. Like when you yeah, think she about doesn't it. care, she, she doesn't, doesn't care. care she? she don't care. At that moment of being hurt, she's just thinking, how can I get back? Get back, get and women and women always do what's best for themselves and their offspring. They always do. So if your woman, your woman woke up tomorrow and think it's best for her and her child to, to move to fucking Albania, they'll do it without a moment's notice and convince you that's what they need to do. <laughs> you're just left that you are thinking, what happened? Huh? Now you just wake up one day because it, it's like emotion, isn't it? It's riding emotion. They're thinking, I got to do this for you now. But the man is there to bring order, control. I'm telling you, when there's no order control in a woman's life, it's fucking chaotic, bro. They're just moving left, right, diagonal, vertical. They don't know what they're doing, bro. You know, you know what's mad, yeah? Men actually bring order to a order. household. Order! Stop, stop talking. Like, sit down, doesn't make sense. Relax, go over there. You know what? You know what's so deep, yeah? I'm talking about even, like, you know, like, a woman could be feeling all kinds of, like, hormonal. Yeah. Like, she could be feeling, like, very hormonal, yeah. and she needs a release. Yes. And you being there, you could give her that release that she needs yeah, yeah. that balances out back her hormones again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes women will be out there and they see men and they they're getting hot and bothered and Trust they want to come home and Trust they want and that man's giving her that release. Trust I me. feel like women don't actually um, understand the importance of men in general and fathers as well. Fathers for their children. So let's not get lost in um, translation. Fathers in general, the the role that they play is such an important role in society. If you want better men, then help men to be fathers. Because better men, when they're with their sons, they're going to try and educate them to the best of their ability. Of when they're with their daughters, they're going to try and not violate as much women as possible. I can tell you, 100%, a man has daughters. He doesn't want to violate women as much as he did when he nah, didn't have daughters. Because no he way. thinks, ah, oh, man, I've got a daughter. I can't do it no more. He yeah, looks yeah, at yeah. them sometimes and thinks, I can't even mash up this girl because yeah, yeah. it reminds me of how much... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does have that effect. I'm not saying all men, but I'm saying majority of men. Does it make sense? So... But when men are denied access, the savagery in them is is turned on times ten. It's like I don't care about any woman anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about any woman. Yeah. Because look at what this woman done to me. Yeah. I didn't deserve that. Mm -hmm. I did not deserve what she done to me. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, but I, but I told you. Yeah, but I told you. Women created alpha men. <laughs> that women created them, but, but almost like it was like a human design. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna fuck this guy off so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a beast. And I always tell women, yeah. If you want to see what a devil looks like, yeah, then stop the um, stop the guy from from seeing you, and you'll see a real life devil, like real, like that will show you the true form of what what you can create. If if some man take it there, you think, hold on, I can't see my son. They'll they'll fucking scorch this earth, fam, and they'll just drag every decent and every and every decent woman that's out there. They're gonna just ruin them. 
Like you're gonna go on a destructive war path and but just fuck up I don't everything. Think, I don't think women actually understand that. They're gonna just, you're gonna ruin the world. Everyone, everyone's catching this heat. Everyone. I know a lot of men like that still. Everyone in my path, I'm gonna just blow it down and not, and and like. It's not- like I want to tell him stop, here, yeah, but it's like <laughs> yeah. you can see that he's in pain, bro. Some men, their way of dealing with some of their their, their depression and their, their their traumas of not seeing their child is through like. Linking bare gal, so it distracts them. Yeah. So because they're talking to six gal at once, it's distracting them from the real reality. Right, of, I right, can't right, see right. my child. Yeah. If they ain't walk, if they got a job, then it's a job, and then gal, because look, they're taking up all their time, innit? The yeah. job gal time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what's distracting them and making them feel a little bit better in life. Yeah. I feel like that, that. That's a very, very important thing that nobody talks it's about. Massive. The effect that it has on them, and then what it does to other women in society and then then women come through and say oh men ain't shit blah 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 because of what but women are not speaking out enough against other women that are stopping men from seeing their Can't children believe, I have not seen not one platform mm-hmm. that is dedicated to this I'm talking about dedicated why to why would it. they because women always see the what about me and you know what is deep here mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you this is I'm gonna end on here because today is a short episode but go on, go on. the what about me what about me? Every time I drop a woman a video about men not being able to see their children. What about me? Mm-hmm. What about women that go through domestic violence? Fair. I hate that mm-hmm. narrative. Mm-hmm. The what about me women are low vibrational. They're low mm-hmm. value women. You're a low value woman because you can't even see the value in another person. Right. So you do not have a value yourself. Right. Yeah. You're a low value woman because it is so easy to say, you know what? It's right, you know. Mm. Men deserve to be a, have a platform and, 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 and speak it. about things that That's are related it. to them. You know what? Respect to their men for doing what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And then keep it stepping. But if you're the evil woman and the shoe fits you, it's going to irritate your demons mm-hmm. that we're talking about this topic. It's going to irritate your demons that we don't stop talking about this topic. It's going to irritate your demons that we're here every single week, yeah? Protesting yeah. for men to see their children and, and for men up. to play active roles in their lives and not have to go through a stupid court system mm-hmm. To be able to see something that is their God-given right. Yep, their own. Are we forgetting that children are are, are both for the parents' God-given right? Mm-hmm. God gave you the child. Mm-hmm. If we really want to get deep, that mm-hmm. child's not even from me or for you. Right. God gave us that. You think you you was creating the child and you was fashion, giving him the child's eyes and art and all that? That mm-hmm. was God, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how now do you think that you could play God and right. stop a man from seeing his child? That's whack, blood. Trust me. That's whack. Trust I don't me. care anyone says that's whack. Yeah. And no woman. That hates, if you hate this, what we're saying right now, there's a disease in your heart and you're one of them women that are doing something like that. And you deserve to be stopped. And I'm telling you, if someone runs me your name, I'm posting you. Because weekly, I swear I'm going to start posting names. Why not? Beverly Swanson, this girl Swanson. Call it out. Call it out. Putting up pictures. Call it out. Call it out, bro. Put them on, I don't even know, Pornhub or something. Isn't it for real? Put their pictures on Pornhub. Mm -hmm. Because unless there's consequences, they're they're, going to just like continue skating forever. (laughs) <laughs> They're gonna skate forever. Like I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna be narcissistic. I'm gonna be controlling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna manipulate him. I'm gonna stop him from, from seeing his child. And there's no ramifications. There's no kickback. There's no, nothing. No, even worse than that, YC. I'll come on TikTok and do videos about him. Mm. And then, and the funny thing is, like, like there was some woman saying, "Oh, leave her alone." Why? <laughs> why leave? Why? Because if a man was doing that, Jesus would, would, would every, the whole world would be on to him. Christ. News, but BBC, <laughs> ICV, everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Snap. The world would be saying, like, 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 this man's a demon. Women could do it. Like, oh, no, just leave her alone. Listen, no, listen, man. Man, uh, men, need, men need to rise up. You know, men need to take a stand. And, men need to, and more importantly, men need to, like, unite and sort of just re- really sort of push the message out there that saying more, you know, men are, men are strongest when we're sort of, Empowering each other like, as opposed to bringing each other down, in it. So I think if, if we can sort of focus on that, and then more and more men come out of all races, backgrounds, cultures, like, and who cares, and just sort of um, uh, constantly reinforce the message of men being sort of just natural born leaders and uh, just what well, like, we want to call it, like, just being such a vital role to a child's life. And until we sort of get that out there as like a permanent sort of idea that that's the thing then we can never stop the mission. And, yeah, and even when it, d- it does get to a point of b- women sort of acknowledge it, it then has to be constantly echoed by another guy and another guy. And another. So I would, I would even hope that our platform sort of encourages or motivates someone to have their own dedicated yeah. service yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and push the message even further. Because yeah. as, yeah. 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 cause, cause as, as influential and good that we are, like you always need someone else back in the message, right? Do you know what I mean? So it's like, 
two guys doing it is cool. But what about two, four, six, eight, ten to a point where there's, there's, a, there's a fucking movement of men just saying, listen, like we need to just like put like put a stop to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the last scenario. Look, remember when Tyrese was crying a few years back about not seeing his daughter? We all laughed at him. Do you remember that? Yeah, Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, Tyrese. Do you remember when you done that video? Is that uh, w- what more do you want what from, from me? me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We was all laughing at him. He became a meme. Yep. But you know what? That's deep. That the black man's pain to do with not seeing his child was looked at as a joke. Mm. We need to stop that, bro. The initial reaction was funny, but 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 if but if you're going through it, it ain't funny no more. It ain't funny, bro. <clears throat> and I don't care what color you are, nation or, or what nationality you're from. It's not funny for any man to be stopped seeing his God-given right and. Trust me. You know, again, shout out to the forgotten fathers. All day long, Because, man. you know, we see you and we Trust see the effort. Me. We see the effort that you're trying and we see everything that you're trying to do for your children and the battles that you're going through we because figured, of this bro. toxic woman. And we're here for you if you ever need to speak to us. Trust do you me. know, I got a message today and the guy said, it's only you lots of videos that are keeping me going right now. Trust me, man. And I don't know, man, shit like that is... The more I hear that, the more it breaks my heart, bro. I, it, I, 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 I can't lie to you, bro. Like, of course, it's powerful. That's why it hits deep, man. You, you, you're keeping me going. Like, almost like we're responsible for his like life force. Like, currently, like my, 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 my thought about just because he's going through it yeah. and he's thinking, no, he's on TikTok to probably get distracted, and he sees our video and says, bro, bro. I'm going through that right now. Thank you so much for actually even saying that statement. These guys are, are hitting the nail on the head and. Like being being able to hit, like being able to, like when something resonates with you and being able to relate, it's literally a breath of fresh air for a guy thinking, hold on a minute, I've been struggling for six months and I can't find one video about empowering men. But these two every week are like providing content that sort of makes me feel like it's not just me. People understand, and even when guys comment on other guys' comments on videos, guys like, oh, I feel you, bro, and me too, and it's like you know what I mean. Like so, more and more we speak out, the more and more men are going to come out and start to feel like. Like, there is, like, a safe place. Like, there is a platform. Like, there is a, 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 an area where other men are going through it. There are men that generally care about me, whether you're 16, 56, 56. It doesn't matter, bro. Mm. Anyone going through sort of a, a situation with a toxic woman and, then, and them sort of bringing them down and sort of making them feel less of a man and damaging their mental health, watching the video can make you think, you know what? I can get through this. Trust me. It's going to be a better day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and shout out to Jake. You know, as Rago say his name. Shout out to Jake. He joined our support group and oh, yeah. he's, he's been improving so much. He has, not he? So, like, we got a support group and I'm going to put this support group in the bio. So, if you want it, you just click, you click the bio and you'll see the support group, our mm-hmm. WhatsApp group. And we, we, we help support people. And all we did was just be... Be be man them to it. Just two guys are crazy. Just, just, just two man them. Yeah. That's it. Everyone in the group was just man them. Yeah. Like we're all having man them conversations. You're not like not afraid to say it. Like, bro, what are you doing? Have you done your mission? Have you done your goals? Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, I've done my thing. Love. You know what I'm saying? Shout Good morning, lads. Wrong, you know what I'm saying? I hope everyone has a great day. Yeah. You know, like Little man, man them don't say that to each other. Trust me. We're on some gang shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was not hearing from that. I don't want to see what my thing's saying. Nah. Nah, bro. That's a safe space for the man them. So, vibes, yeah. Man. Shout out to anyone that wants to join. Anyone that does genuinely want to join it, yeah, come onto my page and then um, DM me and I'll send you the link. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's only for men, though. It's yeah. not for women. It's Exclu- only for men. Exclusively to men. It's exclusively only for men going through it. And if you're not going through it, just join to see your part of to see what we're on. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll post our events and all the like other stuff that we're doing. And mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Bad you lot could all be away. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Love to everybody, man, that's been supporting us <laughs> and um, working with us, man. But yeah, this episode, mm-hmm. you don't know where it is. Like, comment, and subscribe.